And now, let's hear from Mark. I gotta learn to sit closer when I know my turn's coming up. Good morning, church. Church in person and at home. Um, we're, I'm continuing a series called Courageous Characters where we look at different characters having uh, courage to have tough conversations like we're learning about in our worship series. Uh, today's message has us in John 3. We're going to talk about the courage Nicodemus needed to have a conversation with Jesus. Now remember, the definition of courage that we're using is the Greek word tolmao, which is defined as courageously venturing forward by putting fear behind and embracing the fruit that lies ahead for taking a necessary risk. Nicodemus took that huge risk in meeting with Jesus. Now, in case you don't know who Nicodemus is, he was a Pharisee. He was a Jewish law teacher and a member of the Sanhedrin, which is one of the highest court or the highest court of justice and supreme council in ancient Jerusalem. We talked last week, or I talked about last week, how the religious law teacher set aside what he once knew in order to accept Jesus for who he is in learning about the greatest commandments. Nicodemus is having to do that same thing, but is now in that safe space to have the conversation with Jesus. He met him late one night so that others wouldn't see him. Late at night in a solitary room where nobody could see him interacting with the one who drives the Pharisees insane. <laughs> Nicodemus acknowledges who Jesus is, which is different than the religious law teacher we talked about last week. They tried to trap him, but Nicodemus comes to him asking for clarity. He was able to come humbly before Jesus to ask the tough questions without feeling any kind of judgment. And he felt like he could ask the same type of questions that we ask Jesus because he was in that safe space. Again, he could do it without feeling any kind of judgment. And they started a conversation about how somebody can be born again. It's a tough concept to grasp. And I'm sure you walk up to anybody on the street asking that question. You may get a response like Nicodemus says in John 3, 4. How is it possible for an adult to be born? It's impossible to enter the mother's womb for a second time and be born, isn't it? Now, obviously, it does take courage to just question Jesus like this. It took courage to think that Jesus doesn't know what he's talking about because it doesn't align with how our own thoughts work. Yet, because of this tough conversation that happens in this same space, the conversation was actually able to occur, and it does last for 16 more verses in that whole story in John 3. And Jesus was able to explain more about it. Nicodemus still felt comfortable asking his whys. He was able to continue questioning Jesus, asking why this, why that. And Jesus was happy to answer. And this fulfilling conversation changed how Nicodemus viewed Jesus and Jesus' teachings forever. And it shows later in John, in John 7, Nicodemus is actually defending Jesus against the other Pharisees. And he came to help secure Jesus' body after the crucifixion in John 19. Because of the tough conversations Nicodemus was able to have with Jesus and having the courage to actually engage in the conversation, he was able to set aside once he once knew and not force his own beliefs as truth. He learned why Jesus taught what he taught and believed what he believed because of the importance it was to Jesus and his ministry. It's hard for us to do that, to set aside what we know in order to listen to what others are dealing with. We sometimes think that what others are coming to us are about small, petty, non-crucial things, but to them, it feels like their world is just coming down. And instead of building the wall to block their feelings, take the courage, take your tomao to have that conversation with them. It took them having courage to even talk about it in the first place. You can encourage, you can use that courage to give them the safe space to talk. And uh, that's where I'm wrapping up. I'll be back next week for a special Mother's Day message.